South Africa are Kosafa under-20 champions yet again. They beat Zimbabwe 4-3 on penalties after the match had ended one all in regulation time. Amajita, who are the defending champions of the annual tournament, came from a goal down to force the match into penalties. Coach Tabo Sinong says that next for his team is to go into camp in early January to prepare for the under-20 African Cup of Nations in Niger. After a goalless first half, Zimbabwe took the lead 20 minutes into the second half through Delic Morimba, French-bound striker Lyle Foster, found the equaliser with only five minutes remaining. Then the final had to be decided on penalties. Despite scoring 11 goals and conceding only two in the whole tournament, South Africa were severely tested. This is history for us. Four years, always in the final, winning the Kosafa Cup in a row. It shows that we are now kings in our region, Kosafa. On top of lifting the trophy, Amajita players also walked away with individual accolades. Foster finished as the tournament's joint leading goal scorer with five goals. South Africa's midfielder, Promising Kuma, was voted player of the tournament. Yeah, I'm very pleased, I must say, because uh, I wake up each and every day, so uh, I'm ready for everything. Because uh, when I came, I come in the, to the field, I, I want to work. Yeah, so I want to be a top player than the other player on the field. This is South Africa's seventh Kosafa Cup title, and the team is aiming high. We have to come very early in January, the 10th, that is the plan and uh, make sure that we prepare, we base our camp in hot areas and uh, towards the uh, end of January we'll be playing two fringes in West Africa. Get in Niger early, adapt, spend 10, 12 days in Niger, adapt to the heat, adapt to the fields and uh, prepare for the tournament. Team captain Kulegani Kupega was the hero of the day after saving two penalties. Of course, you know, I think what makes it sweeter is the way we had to come back into the game from behind. And I mean, Zimbabwe had a good team, so I think uh, the boys really fought. And you know, in uh, past interviews, I always spoke about brotherhood. And I think that was the most important and deciding factor today. You know, we stuck together even though we went 1-0 down and we came back and we equalized and then we went to penalties and we won it from there. The team returns from Zambia this evening. Sfeso Ramara, SABC News, Kitwe, Zambia.